this is Max with Family Piano, and today we are looking at two Kawaii brand new pianos. Um, these are their entry level pianos. So if you're looking at brand new pianos, um, entry level Kawaii, your top two choices um, that you're going to have to make a decision on are going to be the 506N and the K15 over here. Um, these two pianos are similar in a lot of ways, but there's also some key differences. So I'm going to really be looking you know, and describing as a player um, the strengths of each instrument and what might suit you better. So, we have the 506N over here. Now, this guy is our institutional piano, meaning it's built to be very strong, very versatile. You can see here it's pretty wide. Um, both of them, you know, have a felt mute rail, very nice. Um, but some really nice things with these institutional pianos they are built large, giving a lot of room for that sound to echo within the piano. They also have even stronger construction. You can see here, I'll try pulling it out a little bit. The 506N, it actually has a five back post as opposed to four on the K15. You know, giving it a stronger construction. These are meant as institutional pianos to be put into a practice room. Um, and really, they're made to have a very versatile, you know, kind of middle ground sound so that players of all different genres can play on them for many, many hours a day. Um, and, you know, it's a piano that's supposed to not take sides when it comes to genre and playing style. And here we have the K15 which is actually gonna be a little more similar to the rest of the uh, K series, like the uh, K200, the K300, et cetera. Um, so some differences, the K15 is gonna come in polished finishes. So if you want something really classy, really polished, um, K15 is gonna be the way to go. Another thing I notice is gonna be the key top differences. Here's the K15, and here is the 506N. Now, the, the K15, I feel like the key tops provide just a little more grip. It feels closer to the K series, the K200, 300, etc., in terms of the grip, in terms of the feel. The tones overall. Pretty significantly different. The K15 turns, you know, the sound, I describe it as it sounds more intimate. Um, more of a rounded nature to the sound, um, and it sounds like it's just slightly easier to bring out, you know, articulations and dynamic differences. The 506N being a larger instrument, being an institutional, kind of has more of an open, airy tone to it. So I'm going to go ahead and play two pieces of music for you. As I said, um, I'm going to play first some Bach on both the 506N and the K15, show you which instrument um, and how they handle classical music. All right, so first we're going to start with the classical selection, variation number two of Fox Goldberg variations on the Kawhi 506N. some Gershwin on the 506N. Thank you. 
so to round off my impressions here um, between the 506N and the K15, you know, ultimately it really comes down to like what your preferences are in terms of uh, how you like to play. For example, I find the 506N, the action feels a little bit bouncier, a little more energetic. And the K15 action feels a little bit smoother. Now, in terms of the overall sound, the 506N is going to be a little more open sounding, highly resonant. Um, you know, it's going to be a little bit brighter too, um, which is a big thing with Kawhis because Kawhis turn out very warm most of the time. So if you're looking for, you know, just a touch brighter than your typical Kawhi sounds, um, the institutional models are a good way to go. Um, in terms of overall volume, you get a slight edge with the 506N. I'm going to show you um, the height difference here. You know, it's, it's not significant. It's, it's pretty slight, actually. Um, you know, basically, the, uh, the 506N gives you half an inch extra height. The big difference is going to be just in terms of the depth of the instrument. Um, it's a lot larger, a lot more room for the sound to bounce around. Um, you know, in terms of uh, the music desk, very important. Um, I'm going to give the 506 an, a, an edge here. One great thing with institutional pianos, you have this big ledge. You can put a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, sheet music, pencils, anything like that. The K15 has this style of music desk here, you know, which is fine and it works um, you know, the vast majority of the time for most anything. Um, but you know, if you want something that's going to be really good in a teaching studio or an instrument that's going to be shared by a lot of different kinds of musicians, 506N is going to be the way to go. If you want something that sounds more intimate, um, you know, a little more geared towards like very lyrical playing styles, whether it's classical, romantic music, um, kind of Hollywood jazz kind of stuff, uh, lounge music, K15 probably going to be the way to go. If you want a polished finish, K15 is going to be the way to go. Um, but if you want something very, very strong that's going to hold up to a lot of practice um, and it's just going to work great for a lot of different genres, provides a really good middle ground that isn't going to you know, pull a student into any particular musical direction, kind of leaves it up to them to choose, then the 506 cent is going to win out. Um, so there you go. Let me know uh, what you guys feel about any of these instruments, um, if you've had a chance to try them, any of, uh, of your remarks about them. Um, it would be really helpful for people you know, choosing between them. The way I see it, you know, you're not going to make a wrong decision between the two. Uh, there's just going to be one that might suit you better personally. Um, so there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions about the 506N here, the K15 or any of the other uh, new Kawhi pianos, you know, I'd be happy to answer them. You can send me an email, max at familypiano.com. Um, and in a bit, we'll be taking a look at the 506N's big brother, uh, the ST1, which is actually one of my, uh, one of my top favorite uh, new pianos on the market today. All right, thank you.